Shalom and welcome to my very first Persian cooking lesson. Um, this is my one of my favorite dishes that I've ever made, but before I get there, I wanted to share with you that, you know, I have made some how-to videos in the past, but this is a video I wanted to share with you, um, kind of reflecting my blood, my roots, and that is because I am a Persian American. And so I grew up with Persian cuisine all my life, and I have finally been able to learn a couple recipes, master it, and now I want to share with you how you can make your own Persian dish, a healthy Persian dish. And today's recipe is pomegranate chicken, which is called fesenjun. All right, let's get started. So the first ingredient is one and a half cups of walnuts. If you don't have walnuts, do use seeds or another type of nut. I typically like to use sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, and it's kind of nice to kind of change it up a bit. It's a little nutty and it's high in nutrition, especially since it's a good plant-based fiber. The next ingredient you want to use is one onion. Chop it up and put it in the pan. Also, the next ingredient you need to have is your meat, and that is one pound of diced cut up chicken. The next ingredient is cardamom. You can use one drop of cardamom oil from an essential oil. I use Young Living, or you can use a half a teaspoon of crushed cardamom seeds. The next ingredient is one uh, drop of lemon oil or squeezing half of a lemon. The next ingredient is spices, and you want to use a ton of spices. Spices is really big in Persian cuisine. So the spices that I use is a dash of cumin, which you can add, a, like a, add in a pinch of it, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon, then add in a, a half of a teaspoon of turmeric. So spices are really big in Persian cuisine. Turmeric, saffron, saffron is the most common spice there is. It's very aromatic, it's beautiful, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And I use it in my festival. So I use a half of a teaspoon of turmeric. Then I also add in a half of a teaspoon of cumin. Then a fourth of a teaspoon or a couple of flakes of saffron and a, a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is great because it adds in heat. It, create, it allows you to have a great blood circulation. And as you may have noticed, a lot of Persian cuisine that I will be teaching you and make does not require salt because spices are a great natural salt and it helps enhance the, the taste buds and it gives you a sense of good flavor without needing salt. And the last ingredient you will need, and this is the final element, the final thing to cap it all off, is a third of a cup of pomegranate molasses. This is a key ingredient. This is what makes Festinjun Festinjun because of pomegranate molasses. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this um, episode, but thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoy your very own Fest in June. You know, I don't even know why we call it Fest in June, but I know June, June means darling, like June. But anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much. Leave me a comment, tell me how yours turned out, or send me a tag on my Instagram, Layla Alia. And thank you again. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay active and keep going. Bye.